So we're talking about magic make-believe giants this week. And of course, the story we're going to tell is Jack and the Beanstalk. Now in Jack and the Beanstalk, there are six characters. And characters are people or things that the story is about. Um, there's Jack, his mom, um, the cow, the butcher, the giant, and the goose. All right, now Jack's dad had died, leaving his mother a widow. Um, Jack and his mother were poor, but they did have money for food because of their cow, Daisy. Um, they could take Daisy's milk to the market and get some money for food. All right, so let's start our story. Once upon a time, there lived a widow and her son, Jack. Jack's father had been dead a long time. He had died of a broken heart when all of the money he had been paid for his crops was stolen. Times had been hard for Jack and his mother. They were poor. They had sold most of their furniture to buy bread. Their little cottage was practically empty. The only thing left at, of any value was their cow, Daisy. Every morning, she would give milk, which Jack took to the market, took to the market and sold. But one sad day, Daisy gave no milk, and then things looked bad indeed. Never mind, mother, said Jack. We must sell Daisy. Trust me to make a good bargain. And away he went for the market. Now, a good bargain means that he is going to get what the cow is worth. Well, as Jack walked down the road toward the market, he met a butcher. And the butcher said, good morning. Where are you going? I'm going to the market to sell my cow. Well, it's lucky I met you. You may save yourself the trouble of going all the way to the market. I can buy your cow right here. <coughs> and with this, the butcher put his hand in his pocket and pulled out five curious-looking beans. I'll give you these magic beans in exchange for your cow. If you plant them tonight, they'll grow up and reach the sky by tomorrow morning. <gasps> Done, cried Jack. He took the beans and ran all the way home to tell his mother of the wonderful bargain that he had made. Oh, but you know what? When he got home, his mother was horrified. She said to him, off to bed with you. She was so angry that she threw the beans out the window. And poor Jack went to bed and cried himself to sleep. Well, when Jack woke up the next morning, he ran to the window to see if something had grown. And there it was in his backyard, a giant beanstalk. It stretched up and up into the sky as far as Jack could see. Huh. Well, Jack right, jumped right out of his window and he began to climb the beanstalk. Up, up, up he climbed and up into the clouds. When at last the stalk ended, Jack found himself in a new and beautiful country. And in the distance, he saw a huge castle. Now I'm gonna stop right there. Let's say this is you. You wake up, you find a giant beanstalk in your backyard and you climb to the top. You see a country and you see a huge, huge castle. What would you do? Hmm. Well, Jack walked straight to the castle. It was tremendous and much too big for people his size. Jack was very curious. He slipped under the door and went inside. There he saw a large table. And on top of the table were large piles of shining jewels and big bags of gold coins. Jack recognized the big bags that the gold coins were in. <gasps> Those were his father's money bags. All of a sudden, the castle floor began to rumble and he heard a thunderous noise. Jack realized the noise was the footsteps and he heard a big, deep voice. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Jack was frightened. He could now see the mean, ugly giant coming down the hall. Trembling, he reached up on the table and he grabbed one of the money bags and ran as fast as he could. He slipped under the door, raced back down the beanstalk and as fast as he could. Well, Jack and his mother were now quite rich. But you know what? Jack was not satisfied. He wanted more. So while his mother was away at the market, he went back up that beanstalk, up, 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 until he was at the top again. Jack ran to the castle and slipped under the door. He wanted to grab another bag of gold. But as he snuck toward the room with the great table, 
The sight that he saw was unbelievable. There the giant sat at the table, and he was talking to a fine white goose. Lay, said the giant. The goose at once laid a beautiful golden egg. Lay, said the giant. She made, laid another golden egg. Lay, said the giant. And she laid a third golden egg. Then the giant stopped. He sniffed the air. He had a mean look on his face. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. And with a fearful roar, the giant seized his oak tree club and dashed after Jack. Jack hid under the table. The giant brought down his mighty club and smashed the table to pieces. The goose fell to the floor and quickly Jack scooped up the goose and he ran out the door. The giant chased after Jack, but he was clumsy and he tripped over his own big feet. Jack started down the beanstalk as fast as he could. It took a while before the giant could get back up off his feet and Jack was all the way down at the bottom of the beanstalk. When, giant, when he got down to the bottom, he went and he grabbed an axe and he cut that beanstalk down. Now the giant would never chase him again. Jack skipped into the house to show his mother the goose that would lay golden eggs. And the three of them, Jack, his mother, and the goose, lived happily ever after. Wow, what a story. Huh, this was a little different. The giant was actually sitting at the table this time, huh? What made him stop? Do you remember? And what did he say? His famous quote? Yes. Now, why did Jack climb that beanstalk down, I wonder? Why did he cut that down? Hmm. What would you do? Would you climb the beanstalk? Would you run into the castle? Hmm. I can't wait to hear what you have to say.